If I sound sick, it's because I have a cold, so please ignore that if you can. Okay, let's get into the video. When I say game show, what do you think of? Um, I'm a celebrity to get me out of here. Great British Bake Off, or even Master Chef, or if you're not British, Survivor, I I guess. And when I say PlayStation, what do you think of? Last of Us, God of War, Uncharted, Ratchet and Clank. But what if you put them both together? Now you're probably thinking I'm crazy, and you would be right. But PlayStation didn't because they did exactly that in 2010. That's right. In 2010, after PlayStation set up their new streaming service. PlayStation Network, they made a reality TV show called The Tester, where they threw 11 people into a warehouse and made them compete in various different challenges until there's only one person left. And that one person would get to be a games tester at PlayStation. Now back in 2010, three-year-old me was more worried about the next Mickey Mouse Clubhouse episode, so I didn't watch this. Well, back in 2010, hell, I didn't even know this existed until it came up on my YouTube Recommended. So on that note, let's watch the tester legally and totally not off a re-upload on YouTube. So the show starts off with us getting introduced to our 11 contestants. Star, Doc, Luge, Fame Girl, Goof, Barmy, Ronnie, Amped, Nauseous, Cyrus, and Big... <laughs> big... <laughs> I can't, I'm so sorry, I can't. Big D. Seriously, who let that slide? Who at PlayStation said, yep, nothing wrong with calling him Big D. My tag is start. I am here to get my dream job as a PlayStation tester. People, they are so screwed. Like, they have no idea. I am a pro gamer. I'm basically the top ranking female in the world. Like Top ranking female? So, sorry, is, is that a thing? I don't think you can be a top female. You didn't even say in gaming. You just said top ranking female. I'm your host, Meredith Molinari, and I'm going to be with you throughout this whole experience. So this is Meredith M Maron. M She's the host. I searched her up to see her relevance, and all I can really find is that she was best known for this show, so not a great start. And she was a model for Playboy. I, I don't know. I might be missing something. She may be a pro gamer in her spare time. I can't judge. With a $5,000 signing bonus. Oh, the dollar bills. Yeah, let's go. 5,000 smackaroonies for doing a few challenges. I will take that money and leave. Hey, nice. Yeah. Look at this stuff. Nice. So I got my official PlayStation badge, and I'm not letting go of this thing. Now it totally feels official. Jesus Christ, she's dedicated. She just gets eliminated and then she pulls out a gun and is like, you better stay the fuck away. If this badge leaves my hands, someone will die. Do you understand me? Luch, Luch I'm amped. I'm 23 years Whoa. old. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I've never been in any competitions with- What the fuck? I was not expecting that. Jesus Christ, that's a New York accent if I haven't heard one before. Hey, I'm walking here. Sorry. No, I shouldn't. I'm sorry. When we first got to the loft, I was- mostly concerned with checking things out and so i stepped back and let them all interact my guy barmy is seen in multiple shots just like spectating everything out and i love him dude has a game plan he's letting them mingle letting them do their thing and he'll pounce like a tiger when he's ready yeah i'm, I'm rooting for barmy he better win or i'll be pissed you're ranked for guitar hero aren't you Wait, 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 you're, you're no, she is, ranked. dude. Yeah. You know, I did recognize Star. It, it took me a second, but she was the world-ranked Guitar Hero girl. So oh, okay. So earlier when she said that... She I'm basically the top-ranking female in the world. Like she didn't mean she was the top-ranking female. She meant she was the top-ranking Guitar Hero female. To be fair, she probably did say that, but the reality shows often just cut out bits in certain clips to make someone seem different to how they actually are. Like, for instance, if I said, I'm amazing at Minecraft... I'll be saying I liked Minecraft, but say an editor on a reality show would cut me saying at Minecraft. So now I say, I'm amazing. And now I'm a cocky bastard no one likes. Star is a professional gamer. She is a definite threat in this competition. She's obviously got dexterity skills and she's got hand-eye coordination, which means she's got to be taken out quickly. See, now everyone's going to vote for her. <laughs> she's fucked. Oh, hey, guys. We got a message. We got a message. Yeah, come on. No, I'm sorry. I don't believe for a single second he just stumbled across a random message. What probably happened was this. Hey, can you uh, open up the messages and claim you came across it? I got you. Don't worry. Oh, hey, guys. We got a message. We got Hello, testers. Performing well in your first challenge is critical. Keep your eye on the prize or your game may be over before it's begun. 
Prepare to meet Meredith in the tester lab. Okay, so they can play some sort of game with eyesight. Um, I don't know, there's many games where you can do that. Hello, everyone. Come on in. There's just a random dentist chair. What are they going to be doing? Putting out teeth? ...from our esteemed panel. So let's meet them now. Hello, gentlemen. Hey. Have a seat. Okay, so here's our panel. Brent Goki, he's like a proper big guy, PlayStation company. You boy be your boss if you win. And then we have Hal Sparks, who is credited as actor, comedian, and gamer. Let me just search him up to see what movies he's been in. Holy shit, he's a dad from Lab Rats. <laughs> oh, this guy's a legend. Wait, he's also in Spider-Man 2. I, I, I don't know where from, though, I'm sorry. And lastly, we have a special guest who is Petro, and I ain't going to pronounce that last name because I'll butcher it. Apparently, he worked on Heavy Rain, so massive respect. I love that game. So you're going to be shown a series of matching images. Now, they may look identical at first, but you have to look closely because there are differences within. So spot the difference. <laughs> Just say spot the difference. So in order to be a game tester, you don't even have to play any games, but play spot the difference. I get they need a critical eye, but just make them play a game where you need to spot something with their eyes. In fact, I have an easy way to do this. It's called an optician's. Chair. I'm scared shitless. On your mark, get set, go. I'll play with them then. Okay, so there's a star on the left but not the right. Arrows are inwards on one side but not on the other. And there's a five at the top instead of a two on the right. I think that's it. The drink is a different colour and the fork on the bottom is different on both. There's literally a shield missing. I, I can't see any other things. I'm, I'm looking at it. I'm, I'm scanning it. I'm spending time. I can feel it starting to burn in my head. I'm wasting too much time. I'm hungry. Pass. Oh, they did not like that joke. That guy's head just turned like a monster in a horror movie. All right, Am, you're up. Five and the two, the L with the star. The arrows pointing in on the bottom. Okay, Amp, I see you, I see you. All right, Barmy, go. Okay, Barmy, don't let me down, yeah? Don't let me down. There's a star on the lobby button. I, I oh, Barmy, what are you doing? I believe in you. Oh, God. Well, go. Okay, first thing I see is there's a five on that screen and there's a two on that one. Second thing is, there's a star on that screen, and there's no star where the L is. Th so the first thing I see, fame girl, you need to speed up. There's a five on the right, but not the left. There's an inward arrow. You need to speed up. So eventually the challenges end, and they all go back to the warehouse, or I'm sorry, the loft. With the highest score, we'll be safe from the elimination tonight. The rest of you are going to have to face the panel. I'm betting Luda or Ronnie. They look like they done well. A little bit nervous going into elimination. Looking at the judges, obviously, they're there for a reason. So they have some sort of influence on who stays and who goes. If they don't think you tried really hard, then you could be going home. Wait, the judges pick who goes? So, so why was Doc planning to eliminate Star earlier? The tester with the highest score is... Luge. Yeah! I'm, I'm baffled. I was right, let's go. As for the rest of you, <laughs> How quickly the tone changed. Woo! Yeah! As for the rest of you. Here, you spend a lot of time joking, saying I'm hungry and joking about what you're seeing. I was really hungry, though. Ah, uh, Doc, you need to pick your audience, man. The judges look like they're out for Doc's blood. Part of being a tester is being professional. And it shows me that you aren't focused because you're taking it lightly. It's fun. Like it's PlayStation. If they're not having fun, the game is bad. The three lowest scores, and those who are probably in the most danger of going home tonight, are Barmy, Fame Girl, and Ronnie. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fame Girl is definitely out. I'm sorry. I mean, no disrespect, Fame Girl, but come on. Well, you see, the two is on the left side of the lift button. It was, it was painfully slow. Fame Girl, you scored a seven. 
not great, but you were very descriptive in all of your answers, which was very helpful. But you didn't keep the deadline in mind. See, I'm not the only one who thought she needed to be quick and snappy. For a six, if you had to do it again, would you do something differently? I'm sure I would. I don't know right now what I would, but I'll, that's just it. I would think. The man's breaking down. I feel so bad. Team Barmy for life. Parrots are zygodactyl. Two toes forward, two toes backward. Thank you. I, I don't see the relevance at hand to whatever the fuck just came out of his mouth. This was a tough decision. We had to weigh a lot of different factors. We have uh, come to our conclusion and, and two of you will be going home tonight. It's clearly fame, yo. I mean, come on. Situation. And, uh, and one of you clearly couldn't handle the pressure. Ronnie, sorry. Your game ends here. Oh, I, I, okay, I thought Fame Girl would be first, but cool. At least it's not Barmy. Obviously, second will be Fame Girl. It's not a brick wall. It's not the end of the road for me. It's a bump. I know that this is, isn't the only door to get into PlayStation, so uh, you will see me again. All right. I can't tell if that was a threat or a promise. Right. There are still two more contestants in our bottom two that are in danger of going home tonight. Two. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. It, it's, it's obviously fame, girl. As each got to speak up for yourself, we've decided. Barmy, unfortunately, your game ends here. What? No. Barmy, I was rooting for you. I loved you. It should have been fame, girl. They felt that the stress was too much for me. I want to disagree. May, I'm, I'm sorry. You didn't talk for 30 seconds. That's why you're out. Better. Persephone and Alistair, although I know you're too young. <laughs> I love you both very much. And I hope you're proud that I made it this far. My guy just started his villain origin story. We will always love you, Barmy. The judges have blessed me with a second chance. So I am not planning on being in the bottom again. They blessed you with more than a second chance, I'll tell you that much. So that's the end of the tester episode one. This was like a reality show that is highly edited to make the people look bad or just to stir up drama. And also it's very odd with the fact there's no fucking games. It's a PlayStation tester job and there's no video games. Anyways, I'll see you in the next episode where they throw basketballs into a hoop 500 meters up because they need to accurately press X to be a games tester.